government expropriated all this land. Uh, my uh, grandmother uh, married a guy who used to own 100 acres in the year two as well, and they expropriated that, right? Um, it's just, I mean, they lobster fished here. This, this was a recreational, commercial, aboriginal fishery that's been destroyed. And, uh, you know, federal regulations, uh, Section 35 is supposed to protect this, right? They're, we're supposed to be protected. They always say, well, we're following the regulations. No, they're not. No politician has protected us. Uh, no government of every stripe has protected us. This is, this, this is what they've done. And now they say, trust us, we're going to put it into the strait and everything's going to be okay. Well, you can see what they're putting in the strait. That pipe right there, that's what's going out there. And you can see what it did to 350 acres. There, this is void of life. There's nothing left in here, yeah. right? Unbelievable. It's only a matter of time, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, it comes in. It's a... Uh... About 37 degrees Celsius. So how much is pumping through? 60 to 90 million liters a day. Yeah. The river comes into the mill, goes through the system, all the waste water. The entire river. Yeah. Uh, middle river. Yeah. They they, they source everything from the middle river. Yeah. You can see how much is coming out there. It's like a river. Home and then it's home. Well, past the brook and the sawmill. Dim light in the afterglow. Through the picto woods, it guides us home. Mother, I have. I've been here for about 20 minutes and uh, the smell is absolutely outrageous. I can't, um begin to explain to you absolutely how potent the smell is here and you can understand how when they started to pump this uh, toxic effluent into Boat Harbour how all the fish and lobsters died within days of doing so. It's hard to believe this has been going on for years. A place hidden away in Indigenous First Nations land. Keep you alive I'm tired of the wasteland Dreaming of the sweet grass Bring it back, give it back now Smog still heavy, sky gone black Smell the money laughing Pumping out the old mill stacks But I dream of smell the ocean again like it was before Yeah, I dream of smell the ocean again Across the peak to land and shore if, if they're right, you know, if they're right, everything's going to be all peachy and stuff, right? Well, that's fine. But if they're wrong, if they're wrong, it's going to be an environmental disaster and it's going to hang over this province for years and years and years. And were they right about Boat Harbor? That's right. They thought Boat Harbor was a, was, a, was a good thing and look at that, you know. And they didn't care. And they didn't care. That's the thing. They don't care. They know they have to do something now. The native people that live over there are... They're, you know, they're up in arms, of course, right? And why wouldn't they be? That's my biggest regret, is not backing them. It's not going behind them and, and helping them, and, you know what I mean? But I am now, you know why? Because it affects me, and that's not a good thing to think. I should have been there in the first place. I should have been all there in the first place.